Here are your headlines from CBS Chicago. I'm Marissa Bailey. And good morning. I'm Erin Kennedy. Let's get a look at our holiday Friday. Hi, Megan. Hey there, guys. We're looking at showers and storms likely again today. More into the afternoon than the evening this time around. 82 degrees. The high temperatures south southwesterly wind from 5 to 15 miles an hour. Storm Prediction Center has placed us at marginal risk from the city down into northwest Indiana. Showers and storms are wrapping up pretty early tonight. 66 degrees the overnight low and into tomorrow. Sun and clouds, a bit of a drier day, 81 degrees. The high temperature with a westerly wind from 5 to 10 miles per hour. And it looks like Sunday will be a pretty decent day as well, 82 degrees. Perhaps some storms at night on Wednesday, very late. Monday and Tuesday, we'll see some scattered activity, mostly in the afternoons. Thank you, Megan. When it comes to busy airports over the 4th of July holiday weekend, O'Hare has the unfortunate distinction of being the second busiest in the country. According to reward expert, O'Hare is the fourth most likely airport to have delays or cancellations. And AAA says 37.5 million Americans will drive to their holiday destinations. That's an increase of almost 3% over last year. But there is some good news. Of course, gas prices are cheaper than they were one year ago. The national average for a gallon of gas is $2.24, historically low for the summer travel season. This week gas prices are down in all three states, Indiana, Ohio and Michigan. Record refinery rates and high gasoline inventory are among those contributing factors. Time is running out for state lawmakers. The General Assembly has until midnight to reach a budget agreement. If no budget is reached, many social service agencies warn they will have to close or scale back their services. The Illinois Department of Transportation says 900 road work projects will stop impacting thousands of workers and the state's credit rating, which is already the lowest of any U.S. state will likely be downgraded to junk. Governor Bruce Rauner says he'll keep lawmakers working until they can reach an agreement. But every day the special session continues, it costs the state up to $48,000. Former Bull Jimmy Butler was overwhelmed with texts and phone calls after he gave out his personal cell phone number to the world during a press conference yesterday, but he wasn't the only one. Hello? This isn't Jimmy Butler. Michael Byrne of Evanston has a number that's just one digit off from Butler's. He had no idea why his phone started ringing yesterday and then didn't stop. I actually had 57 missed calls and about 70 text messages, all ranging from, hey, Jimmy, hey, Jimmy, we're fans. Hey, Jimmy, we support you. One guy wanted to play darts and have a drink together. So if I'm ever in Minneapolis, I guess I have a lot, a lot of offers. To at last check, Michael Byrne have received 150 calls and more than 200 text messages. All right, so we really need your help with this next story, if not for the child, but for their parents. Take a look. This is Theodore. Nathan Paul Childers posted this picture on Facebook, stating that he'd actually found the teddy bear on the floor at O'Hare Airport around noon Saturday. Since he couldn't find the Theodore's rightful owner, right away he posted a photo to Facebook asking for help. The photo has since been shared more than 45,000 times, and until the owner comes forward, Childer says Theodore will travel with him. For the very latest headlines, anytime, day or night, you can head to CBSChicago.com. Have a great day, everybody.